We defend as a team, and that starts with effective challenges all over the field. Good day of training all around, but Hunter, you eat something different this morning? You were on fire, girl. Hunter, Morgan. <sighs> on a break, too? <laughs> Manager likes what she's been seeing from the both of you. You brought a new dimension to the team. But now we're moving into the knockout rounds, and it takes a certain kind of maturity to play under that kind of pressure. Got you, coach. Of course, coach. I'll be ready if manager needs me during the game. No, that's the attitude we need and expect from both of you. The two of you are leading the attack into the round of 16. Thanks, coach. Yes, coach. Understood. Good. We're gonna kill him. Yeah, all day. Keep up the pace, ladies. Hi there once again everyone, I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith alongside me and we are into the knockout phase of this Women's World Cup here in France. We're in the Stade Velodrome and the USA, probably the favourites now, take on the host France. Yeah, it's going to be an intriguing occasion this, up against the uh, host nation, just to see how they can cope. The Americans, as you say, favourites in their uh, quest to claim a fourth title. They've got a good side here, I'm looking forward to it Martin. And this is how the USA line up. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Four, four, yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. And here are the 11 who will start the game today. 
Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. Rapino, Carly Lloyd, Hunter, looking for a through ball. Hunter! And now the shot! The chance did open up for that kind of shot. Well, if you don't have a go... Renard, got to keep the ball here under some pressure. Good work, really, to read the... In Hunter! It's missed, the chance. Well, I know I'm looking forward to having a look at these two. Hunter! That's pretty straightforward for the keeper this time. Able to make a good interception. I just wonder, Alan, whether this will go France's way or maybe even go against them. Yeah, we're well, looking at it from kickoff. It's so difficult to read because Hunter! And they blocked it then. In a great position to pull it back. Wonderful defending on the line, stopping the goal. Strong, powerful clearance. Now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Pressed high here. It's a very good interception. Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw. Opportunity in a wider area. Return pass. Uh, cut out by the defender. One point, Alan, we ought to discuss, really, on the strike force of the Americans, the experienced Alex Morgan, joined by the rookie, Kim Hunter. I guess if you're good enough, you're old enough. It looks quite natural to me, this partnership. They've been creating chances, haven't they? And they look happy, actually, together. That's always a good sign. And for the coach, you'd be amazed uh, if this partnership wasn't kept together. Why wouldn't you? Hunter. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Well, it's an important area to win back the ball, that. Good challenge. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. Morgan! And they put away the first goal of the game. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal-scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was the poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, that took a little bit of instinct. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Well, with the growth of football, or soccer as they call it in the States, the women have played a big part, and it's certainly accepted at college level and at schools it's the game that young ladies play in the usa and that actually reflects pushes up the standards for the national team no i think that's true and also the, the tv stations are showing much more interest in it and that can only help the game spread throughout the nation possession in the midfield area And the verdict on added time is two minutes. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Second half underway here in the round of 16 in France in the Women's World Cup. Now Tine. That may well be an advantage for France here. That will be a free kick. It's going to be a card. It's going to be a yellow card. Well, that's the least surprising thing I've seen out there today so far. Here's Le Sommer. 
crafting the through pass. Now it's Kim Hunter, found by the through pass. It's opened up. Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration, and they've won this match, I think. They've just run away from them, and they're likely to do that in the match if they keep playing like this. Yeah, such a dangerous side on the counter-attack because they move the ball from back to front so quickly. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Neatly intercepted. Advantage for France, as the referee says, on you go. Part of the game, the use of the substitutes, very important part of the tactics too. We've got to change. Lloyd, Hunter, Carly Lloyd, and Morgan. France have regained the possession of the ball. Forward momentum is with France here. Moved away from the defender, really getting her team on the front foot now. Rapino. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Trying to find... The break is definitely on. Hunter! Bounce back off the post. To Henri. Now to Brian. Hunter. Here's Batty. Cut out the pass. Now Tine. And 20 minutes to go. Saw the pass coming and got there first. And the ball with now the United States. Lloyd. Now this looks promising. Good strong tackle. Renard. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Now Tine. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. This is how they love to play on the break. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they hadn't had too many chances, and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game. Substitution imminent now. Hunter. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. The score! It's Kim Hunter! Well, wow, this goal is all about the strike partnership between her and Alex Morgan, working really well. That's her second goal, and no wonder she's happy. There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game. There's nothing false about it. They've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead. looking to widen the play really widen the build-up but the ball's just run straight out over the touchline substitution and it's going to be France who are going to make it three minutes left of the 90-minute match maybe just missed kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition played forward a bit of menace in this attack it was nicely worked until that point and it broke down, and now they've got to try and regain possession. It's good to know how much longer there is. This wasn't always the case, certainly when I started commentating. We've got two added minutes. Opportunity to cross it now. And the keeper can collect this one. Well, the hosts are out. France go out 
and the USA have put them out in a genuine away game for the Americans. There was a real know-how, I think, about the Americans, the way they went about their business, that experience of winning on the big stage, and it was too much for France on the day. Well, the support for the tournament here in France has been incredible, but their dreams, the French dreams of lifting the trophy have gone. Don't forget, we'll have all the coverage of the quarter-final featuring the USA live here on EA TV. With Harold on the form of his life and an England call up on the cards, his career was ended by a wild tackle during the FA Cup fifth round tie. It would be his last game as a professional player. Yep. You made it. <laughs> Little sis making headlines at the World Cup. I can miss that. <laughs> Knockouts now, huh? Yeah. You are going to need all the help you can get. Hello, Kim. Hi. Bee's in town, too. Is that your documentary? Yeah, I got an A. <laughs> you can watch it if you want. Am I in it? Are you a hunter? I'm not what you think I am, Kim. Uh, I don't think you're anything. I mean, I, I don't think you're anything bad. I didn't I am a I soccer don't... fan, first and foremost. But I am a fan with means and resources that few others possess. Totally. Yeah, I, I hear that. You made quite the impression here, young lady. The press are saying that you could be the World Cup's next breakout star. Oh, this whole thing, it's been like a dream. I never thought it would actually happen. I've just been waiting for everything to go wrong, you know? Wrong? I don't think so. Kim, with your ability, your appeal, you could blaze a trail through this women's game. Change the entire way the sport is perceived. People keep telling me stuff like that, but I don't really know what to do with it. Don't do anything. Just keep being yourself. Kim, I can help you go straight to the top. Mark my words, help your team win the World Cup, and they'll be making movies about you. Manager wants us to work on our crosses today.
A very good session today, but it needs to be said. Kim Hunter put on a clinic. Awesome. Hi there once again, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. I hope you're enjoying our coverage of the Women's World Cup here in France and we're just minutes away from the start of the quarter-final between the USA and Australia. Yep, getting towards the sharp end of this competition and the Americans seem to be getting stronger with each passing round and gaining in belief that they can go on and claim that record-breaking fourth title. Off, and it's Australia who started the game. Australia go into this game with these 11 players. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. This is the team announced by the United States today. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Helen Knight. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Hunter. They tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. Tremendous development in the women's game. Such an entertaining watch, I have to say. The last decade or so, everything's improved. Remember Vancouver, that final in 2015, over 53,000 attended. And you can see from our viewing figures and the attendance here in France, it's only getting bigger still. Yeah, it is growing all the time. And there's been so much investment into the youth squads, getting younger girls to play the game from an earlier age. And that can only help in their development, and their skills. And it's a great thing to see. Here's Callum Knight. to Ford that's an easy cut out for the opposition saw the pass coming offside the officials clearly in agreement and that's a straightforward offside decision to Van Egmond trying to really in the clear now in on goal Real chance now, guiding it through the defenders. That was a puff out your cheeks moment, and phew, got away with it. Hunter. Lloyd. Hunter, and now the shot. Hit it hard, but not very true. A well, few countries, Alan, have done more for the women's game than the United States. No, that's true. They've uh, set the standards quite often. Hunter! And they've scored! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. Just outside the penalty area, she's fired it home. Oh, that's a wonderful goal. Really is. Perfect timing. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Here's Kellen Knight. Ellie Carpenter. The throw for the USA. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Being pressed here. Hunter. 
Morgan. Now they can go forward, having won the ball. Here's Kelland Knight. It's a very good interception. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Ellie Carpenter. Kelland Knight. Van Egmont. Kerr. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. That's a brilliant challenge. Wonderful chance! And we'll start again with a goal kick. Well, that's great technique, but also great appreciation of the position she found herself in, and she just steered it in. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. Lloyd. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Hunter. We've got two added minutes, that's been signaled now. Van Egmont. Crisp defending there. Job half done, Alan, really. And we're back underway in this quarter-final between the USA and Australia. And Morgan. Hunter! Hunter. And here's the shot. He blocked it then. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Carly Lloyd. Hunter. To Ford. Hunter! Here's Kelland Knight. Carpenter. Good strong tackle. Carpenter. And Kennedy. Substitution about to happen. Short. Great ball. Just the keeper to beat. Hunter! Brilliant goal! That's excellent finishing. Not once now, but twice. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Here's Kelland Knight. Ellie Carpenter. Part of the game, the use of the substitutes, very important part of Probing with the pass. In for Kim Hunter to bear down on goal. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Patrick, goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, she is a terrific goal-getter. And that's three to her name today. Yeah, she should be treasuring this moment, this afternoon. She'll be taking that match ball home with her now. So she's going off, she's not going to do the full game, but goodness me, what a contribution she's made to the game thus far. She's had a fine game, maybe just tiring last five or ten minutes. I don't think we expected this, such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Now Morgan, clever ball, brilliantly read, and much needed in that position, has to score, and there's the goal! Great power with the header, excellently placed, fine goal. Well, I've always been an admirer of good headers, and this was certainly one of those, a thumping effort. Well, the goalkeeper was absolutely stranded, 
and left the goal gaping. Well, it was an easy goal in the end, the kind that you wouldn't expect to get at this level. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. And 20 minutes to go. Ball goes out of play here quite clearly. Uh, an attempted pass, but not a good one. Did that well and intercepted. Threads it through. And now the shot. You can see the deflection there. Corner. In goes the corner. You can't put any pressure on the goalkeeper like that. Easy pickings from the corner. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Here's Kelland Knight. That's good vision to be able to switch the play there. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Hulkinghorn. Gone out over the touchline, that'll be a throw to the opposition. Lloyd. And Morgan. Megan Rapino. Looking for Lloyd. It should be! No resting on their laurels from this team. They want more goals. Well, I'll be honest with you, this last few minutes have dragged a little bit from where we're sitting because the game as a contest is long, long over. Uh, all credit to the team that's winning. Uh, I'm afraid not too much credit to the other side. USA free kick. Abidal Kemper. Hunter! The shot's on! Looking to take the corner quickly. And in it goes. Cut out of the goalkeeper. Hunter, and here's the shot. Good work by the goalkeeper. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum Hunter. of three minutes of added time. Straightforward stop from an effort from a long, long way out. Hunter. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. It's another step towards the trophy they hope. They are into the semi-final. Well played, USA. Well, they've looked so strong throughout this tournament, and they did out there today, even when they face a challenge as big as this one. They always seem to find a way. They always step up to the mark. Don't forget that semi-final, which is coming up in a few days. You can watch all the action live on EATV. So here's the kickoff, and it's Australia who started the game. Lloyd. Hunter, and now the shot! Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true.
Hunter, and they've scored. And the first goal will be such a boost to them. Just the keeper to beat. Hunter, brilliant goal. the game the probing with the pass in for Kim Hunter to bear down on goal oh that's a fantastic goal Patrick goal number three here and it's a perfect day for the player brilliantly read and much needed in that position has to score and there's the goal Looking to Lloyd. Chippy! No resting on their... Let's have a look at our ball distribution today. I gotta say, Kim, you were on another level today. Great to see. Well, she thinks I should go pro. I mean, an agent like her, I should probably take her advice, right? And not go to college. Don't know about that. But you said the game's exploding. Opportunities, the going pro is a real option. I said it makes you think, not that you should do it. Well, she said I'm a real game changer. She said that? Yeah, but I mean, you know, agents, you're the best, you're the greatest, where's my 20%, right? Hunter, tell me I did not just hear that. You've been speaking to an agent? Do you know the team rules about discussing contracts while on international duty? Yes, we were just talking. Get outside, now! What has this all gone to your head? You think the rules don't apply to you? Give me one good reason I shouldn't send you home right now.
I'm sorry. My brother came to visit me and he, he brought his agent with him and she just started talking. It, it wasn't planned. It, I thought she was just being friendly. But it won't happen again, I promise. Being here, being part of this team, it means everything to me. All right. It's your final warning, Hunter. So, um, I don't actually see my trailer anywhere. I assume it's part around the block. Your trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big 50-foot streamline I was expecting. I mean, it was all in my contract, all agreed. I mean, is this not LA? Danny, I'm I'm sorry. I don't know who said you would have a trailer. Oh, you're sorry. Ignore him. He's just having you on, all right? Doesn't know how to shut it off. 
Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> nice. You, you really got me there. Hilarious. Uh, do you guys know each other? Hey, boys. <laughs> no. Oh, what's up, mate? I didn't know they had you for this, too. Yeah, man. Love the boss skills at these events. It's fun to watch. Plus, I pick up a few new tricks for myself. Sly. Hey, mate. Uh, Danny Williams. Ah, the Williams. I play with your big brother, Terry, at UV. Stuff. Oh, trains like a place. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough player, Terry is. Uh, hey, we'll uh, have you boys set up uh, over here to judge the tournaments. We'll present the Tangle League trophy over here, do pictures and signings over there. Cool, nice one. Yeah, looking forward to it. Sounds fun, mate. Uh, uh, listen, I gotta jump over to player registration for a minute. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Alex. Alex. <laughs> I, uh, I really appreciate you making this happen for me, mate. Well, obviously. I know what my son likes. Yes. Ready, ready to go? Yeah. We have reservations on La Torre. Oh, no. I totally forgot. No time? The best in Madrid. You know what? We must take you some time. Alex, may I have a word? Alex. Building a brand means getting exposure. It means being in the right places with the right people. Showing your face constantly. Cultivating an image. Wait, this isn't about the logo, is it? I will always respect your decisions, Alex, even if I don't agree with them. And I know that you do your best on the pitch day in, day out. And I am doing my best to make sure that you get awarded for that. If we both do our jobs, we can achieve great things. Dinner's ready. Be right there, Mum. Alex, I can only do this with your help. Gracias. Delivery into the box. Today I am looking for perfection, nothing less.
It is important that we recognize the highest... It is the Champions League round of 16 first leg and huge expectations for Real Madrid to go far in this competition. How will they fare under the floodlights in front of the famous yellow wall at the home of Borussia Dortmund? We're getting down to the nitty-gritty in this competition. Derek Ray here. I'm joined at the commentary box by Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. Oh, stop it, Derek. Really like those compliments. Thank you. Group stage is over. This is where the competition really starts for me. Mistakes at this stage can be really costly in knockout football. Dortmund at home, keep a clean sheet. That's the rule. Don't concede away goal to Real Madrid. By the way, good luck with that. This is the lineup for Dortmund. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4-5-1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. And the starting players for Real Madrid. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And Marco passing like that, part of Luka Modric's game. Opportunity, Hunter! That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Well, Real Madrid ready for another tilt at winning the competition. The group stage for them tends to be a mere bagatelle. Well, it is. It's almost a stretching session to the main event. And they nearly always end up in the main event, in the final and winning the competition. Serial winners don't see much change in this season, but still some work to be done. Well, they are the record winners of this great competition, Real Madrid. And you always feel, Lee, that no matter the stage of the competition, where Real Madrid are concerned, you're witnessing history. Well, absolutely, their history would suggest that they need to win every game because the pressure is always on them, and quite rightly so. And very, very close to my heart because they came over in 99 and played in my testimonial, so I love Real Madrid. Very generous of them. They chose well. And oh, a chance to fire them ahead here. The object of the exercise is to keep them out. Just straying offside. Modric, Hunter, Luka Modric, and Isco, Luka Modric, real chance, and the defender takes care of business. So a throw in here, Toprak. It's with Beigel. It's with Guerrero. They've lost the ball, Dortmund. Isco. This is Sergio Ramos. Isco has it. Marco Asensio. Superb pass by Marco Asensio. This attack looks highly promising. Mario Götze. Maximilian Philipp. Bit untidy, Götze. This is Kroos. And Hunter, what's he going to do? The Marengues have lost the ball. Axel Witzel. The ball with Marco Reus. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. And 
given away by Dortmund. Marco Asensio defeat it through. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. And Marco Asensio dispossessed. Marco Asensio. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Now, Philip. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Wolf with it. Given away. Who's getting involved here? Is it going to be? Attack over. Well, we've just witnessed the first goal of the night from Gareth Bale. And that will be a big boost. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. And the match back in business. Real Madrid with the advantage. That's going to be off. The second half underway here, and Real Madrid with the advantage. Here is Marco Asensio. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Tony Kroos. Isco. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Isco has finished successfully. Little doubt, really, once he gets in that position. Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball in the back of the net. It's brilliant. So, 2-0 now. Weighted pass from Mario Götze. Marco Reus. And the cross sent in by Reus. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Bit untidy there, Weigel. Alex Hunter. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? And he's gone and scored for Real Madrid. Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure and you normally crumble. Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power. He's got the accuracy. And now he's got himself a goal. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. It's with Weigel. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Running towards goal. One man to beat. Umer Toprak comes up with the ball. Hunter, what's he going to do? of Roman Burki, breathtaking well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change and over comes the corner the well he was being pursued furiously, the effort though nothing to write home about really no I think you give the credit to the defender there just put him off balance We have the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. It's with Alex Hunter. Lucas Vasquez. Thunders clear. Marco Asensio. Lovely ball from Lucas Vasquez. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. Corner kick played in. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Lucas Vasquez. And it's played into the centre. Just wanted to get it out of there. And Witzel with it. Toprak.
Well, let's make no bones about it. This is a thorough thrashing, Lee. So, can I give Dortmund 5 out of 10 for that? Cross getting involved here. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And a throw-in forthcoming. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Tony Kors. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Wolf with it. And given away by Dortmund. Marco Reus. Reus lost possession. Alex Hunter. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Opportunity not. And this time it's in. Well, here's the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders, but what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Inside the final five minutes now. Marius Wolf. And it's with Isaac. Marco Asensio. It's with Alex Hunter. Isco has it. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And Marco Asensio! And he's fired it against the post. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. This first leg is over, and Real Madrid have prevailed. What did you make of their performance tonight, Lee? Well, we said before the game how important it was for Dortmund not to concede against Real Madrid in that home leg, but they failed to do that, but they've still got the second leg at the Bernabeu to go. It's not over. Thanks, Lee, and just a friendly reminder, we'll have live coverage of that game here on EA TV, so join us then. Players at Real Madrid are expected to be two and three steps ahead of the opposition always. This begins with perfect first touch. Good session. I appreciate your dedication. Have a good evening.
Yes. Permítame. Mr. Hunter. You are not Alex Hunter. Um, I, um... I'll be outside if you need me, Alex. Tell me. What do you see? Trophies. History. Success. I see family. It is the foundation on which this club is built. Players come, players go. But a team that is a family is unbreakable. And a family is built on respect. You are not meeting the level of professionalism that we expect from players at this club from members of this family. Whatever business we have off the pitch, it must never impact our business on the pitch. The manager believes football is not your focus right now. That is why he has decided to keep you on the bench for tomorrow night's game, the Champions League. I guess I had it coming. Admitting our mistakes is the first step towards putting them right, Alex. It is this attitude that will help you reclaim your place on the starting lineup. Your friend is waiting. Shouldn't really be here anyway, should he? Each training session, each game in La Liga. Being on Real Madrid means having to prove yourself over again every day. Let's score some goals today.
diets and recovery are as important. Go on, treat yourself. Can't stay in this place forever. You're not reading nothing again, are you? Oh, well, uh, Michael's mate's knocked another 2.5 off. How many times do I have to tell you? All your serious money's tied up long term. It's a non starter. Salary, Danny's only should be able to afford it. In fact, I know he can. Yeah, I bet you do. What's that supposed to mean? We're kind of short of clients, aren't you, pal? The commission's not what they used to be. Do you want to say that again? Uh, yeah. yeah. I've tried working with this cowboy, Dan. A cowboy? I'm not the one who's been dropped by every client he's ever had. You're just lucky Danny's such a good guy. Ask him where your money is, Danny. Go on, ask him! Uh, look at this guy's history. You and me, Danny, we go back since we were this high. I'm looking after your future here. Ringo's right. I'm sorry, Michael. But I've been having my doubts for a while now, and you've not got the best track record, have you, really? And all you do is you keep slagging Ringo off, and uh, I've known him a lot longer. Are you having a laugh, my son? You're gonna listen to this clown? He hasn't even got proper qualifications, Danny. Why don't you tell him where his money is? Well, not lying in your pockets, pal, that's for sure. This is crazy, Danny. I've always had your back. You're my number one client. Yeah, well, I'm only your number one client because everyone else got shot of you. I'll see you around, Michael. This club plays as a unit, and the core of strong team play is great passing. So let's sharpen up our ball movement, all right?
That's enough for today. We'll see you at the next session. A rainy night in Rome for everyone to deal with. Here we are at the Stadio Olimpico. My name is Derek Ray, joined for commentary tonight by Lee Dixon. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It is Roma taking on Liverpool. Well, down to the last 16 teams, Derek. The cream normally starts to rise to the top at this stage. Big teams will start to show their hands, but I'm sure there'll still be a few upsets. This, the Roma starting 11. This particular setup is becoming more and more. In and he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? That will give them quite the lift. An early opening goal lead. Well, you always want to start quickly, and there's a, certainly a quick start there. What a finish. Well, just look at this. They all back off him, and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Underway once more. Liverpool have the lead. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, visionary passing. Real chance. And in it goes! What an emergence from Salah. How good is this player? Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort, solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. It's going their way, 2-0. Liverpool have given it away. A story. And now, passing it through. And showing fine vision. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Well, Liverpool, the record winners of the European Cup of Champions League amongst English sides. And it's always something magical when they take part in this competition. Well, there's such rich history at this football club right through the players, the staff, but even more so with the spectators. They expect Liverpool to go deep in this competition. A story. It's with Kolarov. Marcano. And given away. Now, oh, this might pay dividends. Well, just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Wijnaldum. Marcano. It's with Kolarov. Kostas Manolas. Kolarov. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Attacker versus keeper, and keeper wins. Oh, I always put my money on the attacker. Not this time. Brilliant goalkeeping. Andrew Robertson has lost the ball.
Manolas given away and now Danny Williams Williams and a goal hit the target tick power tick goal tick well, let's go back to the goal that was scored to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this and that's very good refereeing to let the play flow Pastore with it and Zonzi Pastore plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce Virgil van Dijk it's with Fabinho Sadio Mane now Fabinho now possession ceded by Liverpool Perotti now he must favour the cross goalkeeper's ball the cross delivered too close to him and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time Lorenzi on the ball and Mohamed Salah now almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save oh he's got no right to make that save it's absolutely fantastic corner kick played over corner again well it didn't have to be a 10 out of 10 from the keeper but high marks anyway seven and a half I'm going to give him for that one seven and a half well done and there it is The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different? Well, visionary passing. And Danny Williams is in there. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Over it comes. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. Williams. And going through Mane. Useful looking ball. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Whatever way you slice it, a good night's work for this fellow so far, Lee. Well, I've got a word for that first half performance. Spectacular. He was absolutely brilliant. He's got his two goals. Let's see what he's got to offer in the second half. Well, regaining possession for his side, cleverly. And cleared away. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Lalana, an authoritative challenge. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Now Lalana. And Mane, it's a weighted pass. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. off Brian Tristante given away can they convert and Sadio Mane finishes with a plum well we're going to see the replay the goalkeeper won't want to see this again he gives the ball away still a bit to do to be fair his fault. Some another view of that goal. Well, sadly, we have to go. 
conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Oh, a lovely ball. And just the header that was required. The goal they were in search of. Well, we're going to see that again, and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this heady goal. for the fact that they kept going and going. Marcano now. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Nzonzi. Perotti. And a strong tackle. Just wanted to get it out of there. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Daniele De Rossi. Well, his opponent bamboozled. He's given us away. on the second half here and it's almost Lee a case of whatever they've touched has turned to goals well I can tell you creating and scoring goals is the hardest thing to do in football Liverpool have ticked all the boxes in that department for me lovely to watch the players have all got smiles on the face we like to see that substitution time it is Brian Tristante Just straying offside. Robbed of the ball, Mo Salah. Cristante. Henderson. And three minutes, and now passing it through. And offside it is. Given away. Here's Cristante. Here's Milner. And that's it. It's all over this evening anyway. A disappointing result, you've got to say, from the Roma point of view. But as far as Danny Williams and his teammates are concerned, fantastically. Oh, brilliant, brilliant night. The game plan before the game would be exactly what the result is tonight. Home leg to come. Can they finish the job off? From that performance, you'd say pretty much certain. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you that second leg live right here on EA TV. Well, you always want to start quickly, and there's just certainly a quick start there. What a finish. Well, visionary passing. Real chance. And in it goes. What an emergence from Salah. How good is this player? I am standing here with the man of the match, Danny Williams. Oh, yes, mate, you are right. I mean, they might as well park it around mine at this point, you know. Man of the match, 
The Williams. And may he always be so. Well, not always. Well, no, not officially. But, you know, I am always the man, aren't I? Thank you, Danny. <laughs> yeah, no problem, mate.